vita a questo studio. I introduce uh, Bart Kopen. Hi Bart. Hello everyone. Thanks for uh, how are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. It's an honor to be there. Uh, a while ago I have um, become in touch with um, Dr. Enzo Moretto here and uh, I think we connected really well. I recognize uh, his passion also in myself so uh, he is definitely an entomologist uh, who I look up to. Thank you all for inviting me here to the stream. Thank you, just I tried to translate it. Dice che eh, si sì, mi ha incontrato e gli piace molto, vorrebbe imitarmi, in qualche modo seguirmi, ma io non sono sicuramente, ad esempio lui sicuramente ha una molta personalità, e lo dico, you don't need to, to, to follow my uh, way, just uh, look a little bit, because you have a lot of personality, and for sure I have to look at you. Uh, so you, today we, we speak about uh, your love, uh, of course, what is, is uh, there are moths, mostly butterfly moths. I saw some on your, on your body there. Which species mm -hmm. are there? Well, here are some moon moths. This is a female of um, Actios. This is Rhodopneuma. And to the Bernardi female. This is a species from Laos. Eh? Yes. And, Questa è una specie del Laos e l'altra one uh, Actias uh, Bernardi. Yes, from China. From China, ok, from Yunnan. Eh? E che l'altra sono delle veramente specie, specie eccezionali. Ok. From a, from a very young age, I have been uh, very interested in moths. I am uh, perhaps the only person here who is uh, not really an academic in the sense that you guys are. So therefore, uh, I am humbled to be here on your entomology stream. But what I am very interested in is what can people like me, what can people like me mean to science and the, the study of uh, insects and, well, for example, the Saturnids. Because I started out uh, as an amateur. I have a background in uh, biology, but I did not finish my degree. And uh, what I started doing is uh, basically uh, independently by myself, started breeding moths. I made okay, I try, I try to translate a bit. This uh, Bart dice che lui non è un accademico, non ha studiato, non si è laureato, ma stava, stava studiando, poi un po' abbandonato, ma lui si è fatto un po' da sé e sta costruendosi, lui ha molta passione e, e si è concentrato molto di più su alcuni aspetti perché fare probabilmente l'università doveva un po' distrarlo anche con tante materie molto importanti, ma lui non interessava più di tanto e quindi è diventato sempre più uno specialista uh, per conto suo. Uh, how did you, did you learn uh, if you don't, you didn't, went, you didn't do the full uh, courses or, or degree, but it, how, how did you learn about moths and butterfly? Reading books or just uh, uh, by personal experience? Books, websites, personally, uh, I learned uh, a lot from the internet. And uh, it is my ambition, despite being uh, an amateur, to uh, somehow be involved in research and help these animals and progress the knowledge about them. Because I don't really just want to breed the animals for fun, but also further the knowledge that we have about them. And I'm very curious, how can I do this when I am just uh, a single independent person? That is very difficult. Lui, lui dice che vuole fare comunque ricerca, vuole conoscere molto e lo sta già facendo, andate sul suo sito. Can you, can you remember us your website or yes. where people can reach you? If you want, uh, I can share my screen. Yes, and show yes, just to share, just so people can see. You put a lot of information mm -hmm. there. Lui ha messo un sacco di informazioni in questo sito su un sacco di specie. I am uh, sharing the screen. Yes, I I will... people see the, your, your website. This is the publication. This oh, is... this is the Lonomia Electra. It's very, very, very dangerous caterpillar. <laughs> for, for me, this is uh, a publication. For me, this uh, publication is significant because I was able to write it, me, as uh, basically a hobbyist. So that means that uh, it is possible for hobbyists also to contribute to science. And this subject interests me a lot because I want to use my hobby in a pro pro productive way. Okay, just translate what you were saying just in short. Okay. Well, uh, what is interesting if we look at science, there is uh, two layers. And uh, you have the top layer who are the scientists and you have the bottom layer who are the hobbyists and the amateurs. But what I am very interested in is being someone who is in the middle of this. For example, there are some very simple informations like the host plant, the life cycle of some butterflies and moths that uh, we don't know. There is very little information about this. 
But for the scientist, it is too simple. But for the amateur, this is too difficult. You know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe you can translate that part. No, no. Uh, uh, lui dice che appunto sta cercando di um, dare informazioni che siano capaci di uh, arrivare a tutti quanti, quindi molto dettagliate e uh, uh, comprensibili. Ok. Yes. Because I don't think, for example, a professional scientist. Um, somebody with a PhD will be employed, for example, to, to record the simple uh, life cycles of moths in captivity. But also, I also think many amateurs who love to do this don't have the scientific knowledge. So in the middle, we have a big lack of knowledge. There is a gap of lui, knowledge. Lui praticamente sta dicendo che i scienziati non si concentrano troppo sui dettagli e fa vedere anche cose che sono molto estetiche, molto particolari, anche nel dettagliare il ciclo vitale degli animali. Gli amatori in verità lo fanno, però poi non sono capaci di scrivere o comunicare. Quindi lui sta facendo un po' da tradugnon, sta unendo i due sistemi, la scienza e l'amatoriale, e facendo, sta producendo sia a livello di YouTube, che sappia io, e anche questa pubblicazione la sto facendo vedere, appunto questo, questo prodotto che serve un po' a tutti. Now, I, I, I did translate something, uh, more or less what you said. Ok. By the way, I see a question in the chat. Yes, it is live, but I am... Uh answering Dr. Enzo's questions first. But yes, I can read what you're saying. It is live. Um, but this is really what, what interests me. Um, ways in which people like me, who don't have like the connections, ways we can uh, be proactive and also contribute to, to science, to ecology, to conservation. That's what I am uh, really trying to do with, for example, well, my YouTube channel, my website, trying to get attention Uh, for basically this amateur version of science, perhaps, if that is possible. Okay, uh, but why you was catched by moths? Uh, are moths beautiful? I know, of course, for me, Boba moths are very beautiful, but people that are following us, maybe they don't know how beautiful are they. So can you show us some images of moths that you like? Well, I have my favorite here with me. This is one species I am very uh, proud of. Can you see her? Let's see the webcam. Yep. This is a, a, a pink spirit moth, the Axios rhodopneuma. Now, this is, a, I like the scientific name of this species because uh, it basically means rose spirit. I believe uh, pneumos, it means breath or spirit in Greek. And uh, I believe uh, the name for, for rose, it was, uh, I think, rhodos, rhodo. And um, well, it, this is the female, but the male of this species is very pink. So you can't see it right now. So it's really, it's like a rose colored spirit. And uh, my fascination mainly is the Saturnids. I breed many of them in captivity. It's fun. I like doing it as my hobby, but I also like to record the faunistic knowledge because I discover a lot of new things about Saturnids when I raise them. A lot of their life cycles are not known to science. And when you are an amateur, it's easy if you obtain material of a certain species of which very little is known to breed the insect in captivity and to record the life cycle of this insect. That's okay, what I'm saying. Ci ha mostrato questa falena della luna che viene dal dal Laos, se la sta appendendo all'occhio. Dice che il maschio è molto più rosa, ha spiegato perché è rodo pneuma, perché il nome appunto ricorda lo spirito, il soffio rosa, lo spirito rosa e, e e anche se non si vede poi questo colore nella femmina che punta lui in mano. Lui piacciono molto questi animali, cerca di studiarli, allevarli. Uh, so, uh, can, can we see some other moth that you... Do you have a picture of other species that you want to show that you breed? Oh, yes, I have some moths here with me, for example. Okay. This is actually the funny thing is uh, this moth here on my fingertip. Yes. The, the, the person who raised this, he is uh, very famous. He is known as Dr. Enzo Moretto. We, yes. collab we collaborated on a project and he raised some Samia moths. And uh, he, I took some of his bloodline at home here. So But the, the reason why we are showing this is because uh, you found that this, uh, that this uh, We had a stock from France, uh, but some, someone, many, many of them we bred ourselves. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we got those ones we bred ourselves. They were very, very big. Uh? Yeah, very <laughs> big. big um, Uh, I think uh, did you measure, measure the wingspan of that Samia Ricini? Mm -hmm. uh, 
lui, praticamente abbiamo collaborato su un progetto e noi abbiamo portato diverse faline che abbiamo acquisito diciamo un po' in giro ma abbiamo levate moltissime di questa specie e lui ha scoperto, io non avevo fatto questo apprezzamento praticamente si è accorto, lui è un esperto di queste falene che quelle che abbiamo portato noi un gruppo erano enormi praticamente posso dirlo avevano che can you tell that the wingspan was around 14 or 15 yes, around 14 cm the biggest yes, the 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 is a biggest kind of Venus eh? okay for that species and that's the story of that moth but i have to tell people that we cannot say all the story because it's a part of the project that we spent together in all of these artistic uh, a project that mm -hmm. uh, and then when we be finished and publish uh, we can speak about <laughs> yeah that's true we were doing a, an art project together but we cannot disclose the details yet because so we agreed to respect the artist and his work but um it's funny because i'm sitting here in a live stream with uh, some moths that dr enzo here himself has raised so uh, thank you enzo <laughs> yes uh, he is the champion his moths are still bigger than the one i raised so uh, <laughs> I have to learn from him too. But uh, yes, uh, that's really my interest. I am really trying to think uh, about creative ways in which uh, independent people like me can contribute to science, because I believe everybody can contribute something, uh, big or small, it doesn't matter. And there are so many people in the world who are interested in insects, making pictures, making observations, but it's very hard for them to contribute to the inner circle of entomology. And uh, this idea is very interesting to me. How can yes, they- I have to mention also Eugenio Melotti that sent to us some, uh, some uh, echo. No, this uh, I wrong, I wrong uh, message. Mm -hmm. Eugenio was the one who gave me some of the Ricini. And, uh, but Eugenio have to know that we bred also a lot of them here. So we can recognize you uh, uh, easily. <laughs> is yeah. uh, is basis from Mara, but anyway, we know that this talk was very, very, very big. Mm -hmm. You have some of them there too, right? Okay, okay, you can continue. Uh, anyways, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, most people know me from uh, my YouTube YouTube channel. It uh, gets a lot of attention. Now, if you asked me ten years ago, uh, what career do you want? I would not say uh, YouTuber. My passion was always entomology, it's always biology. And um, what's funny is my life, it uh, took a very strange direction because I tried to get into entomology and uh, for some reason, uh, for me, it was maybe too difficult. And uh, what I, uh, me as an amateur, what I started to do is I make my own documentaries about moths. I make my own website about moths. I write my own uh, articles, uh, science about moths. And indirectly, slowly, um, maybe I have found an alternative way to uh, do entomology. Uh, this, this is a Carrie Nicol, uh, questa Carrie Nicol che dice anche some yes, people. Yes, Carrie, hi Carrie, I know you. You know Carrie, then it's something incredible that has never been discovered about some species of insects. I, I agree. We can provide some really great insects. But okay, this uh, just just to sustain that you're right, uh, and uh, I agree too. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm very happy to have met uh, Dr. Enzo, because he is very experienced. And uh, making contacts like this is uh, really, I think, the most important. Uh, but uh, I'm not, not the, 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 the time of the live is not me. Uh, sorry, but uh, it's uh, you and the moth. Uh, so don't, don't need to mention. Of course, me. of course. But I, I'm, I'm all that. Uh, I'm very happy when I see young people grow uh, with this passion and can teach me a lot about uh, their experience. So I try to. I am, I am talking about myself. Yes. Because okay. Okay. For, for <laughs> me, for me, you are important. So I mention you as well, right? Thank you very much. It's, it's Thank true. You very much. Uh, making, I making, know that uh, you have a lot in the YouTube uh, and uh, there's a lot, uh, a lot of. Can you show? Maybe I try to catch something. There's a yeah. butterfly emote compilation in the, in YouTube uh, <laughs> that people can see. You know this uh, because you 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 also travel around a little bit because you're yeah. young. But you, you yes, I, I can uh, I can show something. Okay, uh, okay. I can uh, check here my YouTube channel. I'll try to find a video for you guys. Okay, so I'll find myself in the meantime to check your. Okay. This is your, I think. Huh? Yeah, this is like a compilation of my insect. Sometimes I've just put some nice music with uh, butterflies. Uh, people like it. 
what uh, what I also do is uh, make more complicated videos. Like I, this is your arm. Like, you have like, a big arm. You can many moths can stay in one arm. <laughs> yeah, you see, like a model, eh? <laughs> So, come on, see, Luis Jacopo. Echo, which species is this? Rosilia ericina. This is Rosilia. Yeah, that's me. That's a Bart Copensi. Very rare. Wow, oh, the music. <laughs> but um, of course, it's this kind of compilation, like with music. I just, uh, I just closed the. Yeah. Just a moment, I try to close them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, what I also do is make more complicated videos, uh, so for example, documentary stuff like that. And then now, what, what I want to do is make an entomology course for YouTube. Uh, it will take me a lot of work. I'm writing it out. It will be like for free. Everybody can learn entomology course, but. Uh, I also go to the library to study, and I write it all out. So um, the, I think uh, uh, the next time uh, I would like to have you here again, if it's possible, you will show uh, you please show us some ca beautiful caterpillar that you are breeding, some species. We can go more specific on the on certain subjects. Today I, I, I like to introduce you, of course, to the people because there are a lot of people that know you around the world, but maybe not in Italy. And uh, in our group, so uh, I'm very happy to, to have you here. So ho detto che vorremmo averla ancora in altre edizioni del nostro live che ci porti soggetti più specifici e blu che ci faccio vedere le sue esperienze perché abbiamo visto solo qualche immagine e ci è piaciuta molto. Uh, ok, thank you very much for your your presence here with us and uh, we see, uh, with the appointment uh, one of the next live. Uh, and uh, and also with the, the result of our job that we did in Holland uh, for the artistic installation. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Bart. See you. Bye bye. Thank you, guys. Uh, bye -bye. to your old friends uh, in YouTube, uh, in Facebook, everywhere. Uh, so I hope they follow the live too, and uh, they can follow our live. And maybe in the future we can make more in English. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Probably I've saluted Bart. Uh, I'm hoping to have him with us.